Good morning, this is Enthusiastic Steve, otherwise known as Mike Sits, a Whiskey Victor Victor. And I'm excited today because I'm testing the brand new Hawkins Radio Viper 4 meter 5 8 wave antenna. As yet, not on their website, it's a one off design. So let's test it out. So, a little bit of antenna theory does it really matter? Dipole, quarter wave, half wave, 5 8 wave. Does it, does it change your RF pattern? Well, the simple answer is yes, most definitely. It all depends on what you're trying to achieve. Now, if you're going mobile operations, you tend to use a quarter wave vertical. Um, a quarter wave is very good around town. It's very good for short uh, hop communications. And the reason for that is the RF energy coming out of your antenna tends to go up at a fairly steepish angle. Yeah, these are only approximate figures, about 30 to 40 degrees away from the antenna. Yes, your signal is still going out sideways, but it's also going upwards. As you change the length of the antenna um, to, if, say, half a wave, that radiation pattern tends to come down. Maybe come down to 20 degrees, 30 degrees, maybe a little bit lower. Depending on the design and the ground plane, there's lots of things that affect this. This is, you know, this is not scientific fact as such it's an approximation so don't quote me on the figures but in reality the angle of radiation comes down now if once you get to about a 5 8 wave your optimum rf signal then starts to come out below around about 16 degrees in some instances you can get that down lower to almost zero uh, once you get, start going above 5 8 wave you get to about 7 8 um, there are lobes uh, very close to the horizon but those lobes are not 360 degrees. They're like all your hand. If you spread your fingers out, they point in different directions and there's gaps. So a 7 8 wave does work, can work very well, but it's not as good as a 5 8. So once you get past the 5 8 wave design, you start losing RF. You don't put much energy up. So all that energy where you were putting up upwards is now the lower level. So if you're trying for long distance um, across the ground, you get up on a hillside with a 5 8 wave antenna, your RF energy will go out almost horizontally. Um, ports downhill, about 300 feet, and I'm getting to contacts, uh, not on 4 meters, but on other bands. I've, I've uh, tried a 5 8 wave, and I get out as far as Cardiff and beyond. So, yes, it does work. It works very well indeed. I did an experiment on 4 meters the other day on my car, using a quarter wave whip, and locally I was getting to about 11 miles. Um, as soon as I put the 5 8 wave on, I was actually that my signal strength went up three to four S points to the same operator about 11 miles away. So, yes, it does, it does change your RF pattern. 5 8 waves is, is the optimum antenna for long distance, and when skip comes into it, the, your signal will go out to about a thousand miles plus before it hits the atmosphere and then bounces. So, very good indeed as an all round antenna. That's why I like 5 8 ways. Another good analogy to uh, understand how antennas work is consider them as golf clubs. You use a golf club to uh, strike a ball to different distances. Sometimes you want that ball to go upwards if you're stuck in a bunker, more up and out. And sometimes you want it to go up and down onto the fairway. And sometimes you want to drive it as far as you can in a straight line down to the green. Different golf clubs, different way the balls travel, antennas are the same. Your RF signal either goes up, sideways, or somewhere in between. So, yeah, experiment, have fun. All right, let's test the 4 meter Viper antenna. To start with, let me just uh, state I, I, do, I have nothing to do actually with Viper antennas, I'm not, I'm not part of the company, but I've always been impressed by their um, antennas. I've previously used the uh, Viper 5 8 wave over a quarter wave dipole and had very good results. I approached um, Nigel at Hawkins Radio and I uh, said to Nigel, I said, um, will you be making a 5 8 wave like you do um, some of the other bands? And he says he hadn't done it as yet, but he wouldn't mind making one. So I requested if he could measure one out for me, give me a price that they could make one. And Nigel did. After a short period of time, um, this arrived through the post, and I am the proud owner of the very first Hawkins Radio Viper 4 meter 5 8 vertical. 
it's a, a coaxial antenna uh, with a little the old stub there at the bottom to uh, allow the 5 8 wave to be uh, resonant and produce a good 50 ohm match it uh, has a good SWR right across the whole band the aerial is tunable by the top section it has the loop uh, very handy for hooking over the top of a fiberglass pole excuse the black tape the black tape is my addition um, it doesn't need it I just I did tweak the uh, aerial length slightly to center it on the FM section um, as it came it was good low SWR as it was but I've just tweaked it just slightly to uh, put it in the middle of the FM band area but the black tape there is my adding um, didn't come like that from the uh, Hawkins itself the uh, he had a much better finish with uh, heat shrink on it etc so excuse the black tape but that was there for my benefit but as you can see the actual antenna itself is very well made, very well constructed, nice waterproof joints, covers on the end of the cable there, rubber seal as well. It has a choke as well to stop any uh, um, current coming back down the coaxial cable and it is a very well made antenna. So only took a couple of minutes to uh, erect the little tripod, um, a 15 foot, 16 foot fiberglass pole, loop over the uh, the Viper antenna, cut a little uh, bits of tape to uh, secure. Uh, we've got some Velcro ties as well if it was a little bit windier. Put some weight at the bottom of the tripod so it can't fall over. And into the car and set up the uh, the Tate radio. Wow, what a lovely peaceful morning it is today lockdown restrictions are a little bit lifted so we can come back out on the hill and play some radio countryside is full of life the old birds are singing away out there and i'm here in the old car with the uh, newly acquired tate 2000 mark ii we're on 70325 awaiting the start of the Sunday morning net. Outside we've got the uh, speaker mount uh, tripod with 15 foot fiberglass fishing pole and on top of that we've got the uh, new 5 8 wave Hawkins radio uh, vertical antenna so all ready to go. Sits whiskey Victor Victor uh, M6WVV mobile five and nine, very nice up on Nelson's monument. So, to conclude, would I recommend this antenna? In short, yes, it performs, it does exactly as it's designed. Very good low SWR across the range. It's very easy to carry, it's very quick to put up onto a fiberglass pole. It will last, it's well made, well constructed, and it does perform. So, thumbs up. Thank you, Hawkins. It is a fantastic 5 8 wave, wave vertical antenna. I look forward to many years' use out of it. And, um, yeah, 73s. While well, you're coming through, uh, actually, loud and clear, as I say, a little bit of crackly, but you say you're in your garden, you're portable. Where about your location? Yes, OK, Steve. Um, I'm in... Um... I'm in Abridge, just uh, just to the north, north, let me get it right. Well, it's north of Romsey and a little bit west, basically, Abridge. Yeah. But today I've just ventured out 
and I'm up on top of Portsdown Hill itself, not far from Fort Nelson, where um, Nelson's Monument is. Oh, great. So oh, good. Nice to see you making use of the nice day, and uh, you've got a bit of height there. Um, oh, that's really good. Yeah. Fort Nelson. Okay. This is, well, I'm, I'm, I'm in the garden, actually, um, and I'm just working um, a um, mobile antenna off a biscuit tin, you know. And it's stuck up about six foot in Fantastic. the air. I have, I've he's low down. Testing, uh, he's an antenna rig, biscuit which, Well, I'm trying to find out a cause of interference, source of interference to this rig uh, in my shack, and uh, it's driving me fairly bonkers. So I thought I'd isolate the rig and bring it down the, uh, bring it down to the garden. Anyway, you're coming through fine, about about a five and a four or something like that.